how to use the basic programming of the press brake Cyberlex Cybertouch 12 system. Turn on the power of the press brake. Start up the operating system. First, start the oil pump of the press brake. Click on Machine Tool Referencing. All axes will reset and search for their reference points. Referencing complete. All axes have found their origin points. Press the Run button. The press brake will perform bending according to the current parameters. If it is a simple bending process, for example, single step bending, you can start programming. This is where you select the material, steel, aluminum, stainless steel. This is where you enter the material thickness. The sheet we are bending today is 1.2 millimeters. This is the tensile strength of the material. This is where you select the upper die of the press brake. Choose the upper die you need. This is where you select the lower die of the press brake. Choose the lower die you need. Next, enter the bending angle. For a 130 degree bend, enter 130 degrees. For a 90 degree bend, enter 90 degrees. This is the size of the back gauge. Currently, it is the external scale. If the external scale is 100 millimeters, after pressing the run button, there will be a bending deduction in the actual running value. It will automatically ensure that the finished external scale is 100 millimeters. It comes with a sheet thickness deduction for bending. There is another programming method called bending line programming. Enter 100 millimeters. Press the run button. The x-axis of the back gauge will move to 100 millimeters. This is the r-axis of the press brake. It automatically generates a suitable position based on the entered back gauge position. It can also be modified. Now, the position of 90.2 is flush with the lower die. This is the retreat function. After the upper die presses the sheet, the back gauge finger starts to retreat. This is the length of the sheet to be bent. The length of the sheet we are bending is 2,500 millimeters. The tonnage is automatically calculated. This is the return stroke. After bending, the press brake starts to move upward. This is the return stroke opening. If turned off, it will return to the top dead center by default. This is the large arc bending function. This is the bending speed. Unloading speed. This refers to the unloading speed of the y-axis moving upward after bending the workpiece. This is the pressure holding delay. The default value is 0.1 seconds. If the sheet is very thick, you can increase the bending delay. This is the work table deflection calculation. This is the clamping point offset needed. You can set the speed change point higher. After the die descends, the position of the speed change point can be changed. Normally, the speed change point is set 4 mm above the sheet metal. For example, increase it to 20 mm. It will switch to slow speed at the 20 mm position. Then the die will descend slowly. This is the counting function. Enter how many times you need to bend. This is the back gauge finger support function. This is the single step bending interface. If you need to edit a new program, click the program list. Select new program. Start programming. Select material. Select steel. Bending thickness is 1.2 millimeters. Select upper die. Select lower die, enter bending angle, 90 degrees, switch to inner scale, enter 15 millimeters for the back gauge position. The R axis of the back gauge is automatically calculated, no need to modify. Enter bending length, 1500 millimeters.
This time there are two bends. Click next step. Add a bending step. Step one one half. Step two two halves. Second bend is 25 millimeters. The program is now edited. Click save. ADH. Click the program list and select ADH. Start bending. Bending in progress. Workpiece display. Angle measurement. 